This document was converted from a .lit file format to Microsoft Word, and it came across with a bunch of spacing that we don't want. We're going to use Advanced Find and Replace to get rid of that spacing so that it behaves normally. Now, don't be distracted by the fact that the words are gibberish. That is only the case because I replaced certain letters in this document with other letters to protect the original per the author's copyright. So to get rid of the white space that I don't want, I first of all need to find out what's causing it. And on the home ribbon in Word, I'll turn show hide on, clicking the paragraph mark symbol. This shows me all the non-printing characters. And now I can kind of get a feel for what's going on here. I'm going to drop my zoom down so we can see a little bit more of this at once. It looks like right in the middle of paragraphs at the end of every line, rather than text just wrapping, we have hard return, hard return, space. The little black dots are regular spaces. Then between what would actually be paragraphs, we have two hard returns, a regular space, a non-breaking space. That's what this degree symbol is. Another a couple more hard returns and another space. Really what we just want there is one simple hard return. Also I'll notice as I look through the document that here and there we have these non-breaking spaces where we don't want them. As I scroll, I see specifically that they seem to be at the end of every sentence. Period, non-breaking space. Period, non-breaking space. So, the first thing we want to do is get rid of the string of text between the paragraphs and replace it with something else. Now, we can't just replace it with a regular hard return because when we later go to get rid of the double hard return space, we could end up wiping out some of our hard returns, depending on how many of them fall in what order. So I'm going to replace it with a string of characters that I would not typically have in a document. So how do I do that? Well, I can press Control H on my keyboard or click Replace on the Home ribbon. Brings up my Find Replace dialog box. Here I have a More button where I can drop down to see a lot more options, and one of them is Special. So I need to identify the pattern, and it appears to be Enter, Enter, Space, Non-Breaking Space, Enter, Enter, Space. So how do I put that in here? Well, once I know these special characters, I could just type them in, but originally I'm just going to pick them so I can see what they are. So Paragraph Mark is my Hard Returns or my Enters. I've got two of those in a row followed by a regular space, which I just typed from the keyboard, followed by a non-breaking space, which is also on this list. Now I can see the caret symbol, which you'll find on your 6 key, Shift 6, followed by a lowercase p is a hard return or a enter paragraph mark. So that is going, I can just type in here now, so I will. So Shift 6, lowercase p, Shift 6, lowercase p, and then there is a space after all that. So I'm just going to type all that in. Now what do I want to replace this with? Let's go with a uh, three exclamation points because that should not ever occur in this document unless maybe, I don't know, a 12-year-old girl was typing this or texting this to somebody. Replace all. There's a lot of these. So it may take it a minute. I've done this a couple times getting ready on this computer so it's going faster now. But it may take it a couple minutes for you. Then I got rid of those. It, you can see the three exclamation points throughout my document. Now I want to get rid of these characters that are right in the middle of sentences that shouldn't be there at all. So enter, enter, space really should just be a space. So I could go through and just get rid of every instance of two hard returns and leave the space in. So I will replace those with nothing and it's done. Now my entire document is one big paragraph. I need to break that back into multiple paragraphs, so let's go get all our series of three exclamation points and replace those with paragraph marks. Control H on the keyboard or replace. And this time we're looking for three exclamation points and what we really want is a paragraph mark. If I remember the shift six lowercase p, I could type it in, otherwise I could pull it from special. Replace all. Okay, we're all done with that. This is starting to look a little bit better. I do have these 
non-breaking spaces between sentences that shouldn't be like that. They should just be regular spaces. So I'm going to replace those. Now you may put one or two spaces between your sentences. They say you don't need two spaces anymore, but I can't stop myself. So I'm going to replace all of those with double spaces. So do my find replace. Look for a non-breaking space. I'll just pull it off of here. And I'm going to replace it with two spaces. I'll just type space, space on my keyboard. We've got it. Now the only thing left is I would prefer some white space between these paragraphs. So I really should format them to do that. I could do that one of two ways. Uh, I, you might just select all the text and go to paragraph and put your paragraph formatting in. In this case, I'll do a line's worth which is 12 points because we're using a 12 point font between the paragraphs. Let me undo that. Control Z on the keyboard is one way to do undo. The other way is to actually apply the appropriate style. Now setting up and using styles really is a whole other lesson so I won't get into detail on that but if I have the style I want ready I could just press Control A on the keyboard to grab my whole document and pick the style I want. You can see as I move my mouse over these it shows what the text would look like. I just want this simple body text style. And now I have space between my paragraphs and I'm happy.